Hi, I'm Liz, and today I'm going to be bringing you three snowman DIYs. And I'm going to be using these little blocks from Hobby Lobby that were 90% off. So let's start with DIY number one. So these are the blocks that I got from Hobby Lobby. They were originally $3.99. So I got them for 40 cents each and I bought three of them. And then I have this um, scrapbook paper that I didn't have to cut out. It came that size and my homemade Mod Podge, which is one cup of either school glue or all purpose glue and a quarter cup of water. If it's too thick, add a little bit of water. And if it's too thin, add a little bit more glue to it. So I'm just going to take my Mod Podge and I'm going to go around the top of the block here in between the um, border of the block. Because, because our paper will fit right inside the border. Perfect size. Didn't have to cut it down or anything. And this is some paper I bought in a package years and years ago probably at walmart or something and uh i thought i found it in my craft stash and thought i should use it so it just has some different words on it about snowflakes and snowing and all that now we're going to flip it over and this is going to be our front side this is a pretty thick block and I didn't have to paint it or anything. And then I cut this out on my Cricut. And I just got this from Cricut Design Space. I didn't change it in any way. Well, except to make it fit my block. And uh, this is some light blue glitter vinyl that I got from Cricut. It's Cricut vinyl. And it was kind of hard to work with. Although I have had it for several years, so it did come with the transfer paper, but I had a hard time with this glitter vinyl and the transfer paper. Now I'm going to be using this white matte vinyl that I got from Hobby Lobby from the Paper Studio. We're just going to add it on top of our blue vinyl. And this vinyl didn't really want to stick to the blue vinyl, I guess, because it was glitter vinyl. But I was just kind of having a hard time. But I got it. And it turns out really cute. And uh, do you guys have a favorite vinyl? If you do, let me know in the comments. I have tried all kinds of vinyl. Paper Studio, Cricut, Dollar Tree, and then I bought some new vinyl from Amazon, but I'm not sure what, what the brand is. And then I've gotten Oracle was it 363 vinyl it's pretty good now this black vinyl is also the same as the white vinyl i'm trying to figure out where to put his arms and i do end up referring back to the image on design space to figure that out the perfect placement Maybe I should have fuzzed my uh, transfer tape. I know people say you can do that and I'll always forget to try it.
So I'm having to hold down that white vinyl as I'm pulling off my transfer tape because I wanted to come back up. Now this red vinyl is a glossy vinyl and it is Cricut and I got it from Michaels online. I do prefer the matte vinyl actually. And I love the saying that's on this. It says, Oh, snow, you didn't. I love that. Oh, no, you didn't. So, oh, snow, you didn't. Love it. So this is just one of the items that I'm going to be selling at the craft show I'm going to be doing on the 3rd of December. And I'm actually going to sell these blocks for $5 each. And if I don't sell them, I'm going to put them on my tear tray. Now, for his nose, I'm using the Dollar Tree Glitter Vinyl. And when you use the glitter vinyl, you want to set it, put the setting on washi tape. And that's how he turned out. I thought it was cute. There's the back side and there's the front side. Let me know what you think of this one. Now we're going to go on to the next one. So basically we're going to use the same cubes, not cubes, but <coughs> squares that I got from Hobby Lobby. Again, I got them for 90% off and they were in, ended up being 40 cents. The fall section and Hobby Lobby was 90% off. So I went Monday and I picked up a bunch of florals, some pumpkins and some other stuff, all which was 90% off. So I was happy. Now I gotta figure out somewhere to put my purchases until next year. So in this one, I'm going to use that same type of paper that came in a, a little packet. And this is some plaid. I thought it would go good with this next snowman because he's awful cute. So there's the back side of our block. Now we're going to work on the front side. So this is... Um, that matte black vinyl from um, Paper Studio from Hobby Lobby. Snowflake wanted to come up, got to push that down. There we go, that went down pretty easy. There's the white portion, which is the same matte white vinyl from Paper Studio. Look at him. He's so cute with his sunglasses and his hat, his baseball hat. And again, I'm using that uh, red vinyl. That's Cricut. Cricut vinyl. And it says, chill, bro. Chill, bro. Like, yeah, bro. Chill.
I do struggle with the vinyls a little bit. I think we all do. They're not perfect. But there's his red scarf and the words. I think this one's cute too. Now this is just a short uh, video today. But I wanted to get it out for you to see what's happening Thursday. Thursday with my videos. I try to post my videos on Mondays and Thursdays. It doesn't always work out. And there again, I'm using the Dollar Tree glitter vinyl for his nose. And this was uh, the little glitter vinyl that you would normally use for the um, the little cricket. There he is. Chill bro. He's got his sunglasses on. The joy. The cricket joy. That's what it was. But I like the color of it so I bought it and I've been using it for pumpkins and now I'm using it for snowman noses. Okay, and now for our last snowman. And you'll have to let me know which one you like better. So here's our last block. And I'm just using the same paper again, only this is from the same paper pack. This one has uh, snowflakes on it. And again, my homemade Mod Podge, which is... Um, Pretty compatible with the matte Mod Podge that you get from either Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby or wherever. So it's about the same and a whole lot cheaper to make your own. Because you can get a gallon of that either school glue or all-purpose glue at Walmart uh, when I bought it. A couple years ago, it was about $12, $13, something like that, and you get a gallon of it, so you know it'll last a long time. So we're just going to add this paper to the back, which is what, which is now our back, was the front of this block, but is now the back. Now this one doesn't have an outline of the snowman itself. So you have to kind of figure out where you want to lay everything down. So I'm just putting the top, his hat at the top, just to see where I need to put the white portion. Want to make sure I get everything in the right place. Anyway, I thought these were um, cute. And like I said, again, if I don't sell these, I'm going to be putting them in my tear tray. You can do them as shelf sitters. You know, just whatever you want to do. Now, it was really hard to see the white on the white. I probably should have used... Maybe a light gray or something like that for that around his hat. Or maybe I should have painted the front of the block. I don't know. But I had to turn this upside down and then put his hat on. The red portion of his hat. There's his eyes. So I'm just building him as we go. Because like I said, he doesn't really have an outline like the other two did. And again, all of these came from uh, Design Space. And I just typed in Snowman. And it brought up all the different snowmen out there. 
And then I just picked the ones that I wanted and then I sized them to my block size. All the vinyl are the vinyls that I used in the previous DIYs, except for the words that I'll be using in this one. I am using the uh, blue glitter vinyl from Dollar Tree. And again, you want to use the washi tape setting. And it says, just chilling. I'm just out here chilling in the snow, just chilling. Well, I'm in central Texas and we don't get too much snow. In fact, I think we did get a little bit last year. I'm not sure. Usually when we get it, it's gone in a few hours. We have gotten, um, uh, not sleet. What is it? Hail. And in fact, it's done some damage to our roofs. But there we go, just chilling. Isn't he cute? There's the back of it. And then I'm going to show you all three of them together. And let me know in the comments which one you like best. I, of course, like the Oh Snow You Didn't. I like that one the best. So let me know if you like Snowman number one, Oh Snow You Didn't, or Snowman number two. Uh, chill bro or snowman number three just chilling let me know in the comments which one you like better so again I'm Liz with Liz's crafts and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel would you consider doing so and if you like what you see please give me a thumbs up and if you're already subscribed thank you so much for subscribing